Well, opiates uh, work. I mean, that's, that's why we use them. That's why we always use them. The only thing is, uh, we know we're always tickling the dragon's tail and run the risk of addiction. Everybody knew that I did not want anything that was addictive. They told me that as long as you were taking it for pain, there was no way that I would be able to get addicted to it. They said, you won't have a problem with it. If I would have known what an oxy was at the start, I wouldn't have done it. You hear crack cocaine or heroin, it sounds pretty dirty or, you know, pretty dangerous. But, you know, prescription drugs for my back, you know what I mean? It sounds no different than aspirin or Tylenol, just a little bit stronger, you know? So that's what the misconception was, because it was made in a science lab that it was healthier, is all right, but it wasn't. Addiction to prescription opiates is a growing crisis that crosses all social and economic levels. Whether it begins with efforts to treat pain or with the use of illegally purchased prescription drugs, the impact is devastating on individuals, on families, and communities. What happens when powerful addictive medications are made widely available to the general public? What consequences result when these medications are used for purposes other than those intended? What are the responsibilities of drug manufacturers, government regulators, and of prescribing doctors in ensuring the informed consent of those who might need to use these medications? How can we balance the needs of people in pain with the need to protect patients from the risks of addiction? And how should we respond to individuals, families, and communities for whom the use of opiate drugs has gone horribly wrong? <laughs>